Welcome back to Central Valley Buzz, everybody. I'm your host, Chuck Leonard. Sitting here with me now, my good old friend, Laura Spahn. Yeah, what's up, Laura? How are you? Really good to see you. How's things going? Going good. Yeah. Going good. Uh, busy. I, I, I had to invite you on the show after I saw the Captain's Bus Block. Right, can right. We, before we get too much into that, can we get into the backstory before we get into the front? Well, um, the backstory was I had uh, procured a job at the Fresno Area Express, which is the, the city bus. Right. And I became a driver for them. And uh, uh, just, you know, I'm a big Facebooker, you know, uh -huh. me, and I'll sit on my Facebook all day long. And I'm, right. you know, writing stories and doing this and doing that. And I have quite a following you from sure all the do. different things yeah. I've done. So I started writing a story about driving the bus. So every because day when you got home, you just, like, what happened on the bus during the day? Yes, because there was so many characters. It was an open diary. Oh, yeah, it was a di it was my uh -huh. diary about what I experienced and my my uh, thoughts and feelings about Fresno and about the people that, the, you know, you're serving people <laughs> that it's... don't always have the best advantages in life, right. and a lot of them are troubled, and a lot of people have the negative connotation of the bus. I never got that. I always had a good time. I loved driving I, the bus. I liked the bus, you know? I, yeah, I, I, I had I think a good it's time. More, it's more big city than people give it uh, credit for. Yeah. yeah. It's still all the backwards so, like, stuff. You, you go but to Seattle a lot and stuff, yeah. and up there, and you get, yeah, everybody uses the bus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mass transit <laughs> up, in, up in a big city is way better than Fresno. So, but so you, you get this job, and it's, it's almost like a dream job, right? Well, I... I can. I never say anything that's a, a dream job right. anymore. I really enjoyed the job, but there was a lot of the internal politics I wasn't really uh, too sure about. They really, really, really um, didn't take care of their people quite as well as they yeah. could have. Right. Uh, they paid you a lot, but they treated you badly to do it. Right. So I. Well, can I ask you something? Because I, I, I read, I read your bus blogs and mm -hmm. stuff. Well, what was the deal with you having to go there and wait to work? On your on your sixth day, which was um, you're, you're supposed to have two days off. Uh -huh. You work five days sure. and then you have two days off. Well, your sixth day um, is your first day off, but they we didn't have enough drivers, so they make you come in and wait on standby. So you pay, show up. Right? Yeah, they pay you. Okay. Yeah, they pay you to sit there and wait. Overtime. Um, this is your sixth day. It depends on how many hours that like you run. How but most people had 40 hours. Yeah, yeah it was always more. Uh -huh. We always got overtime. You, you show up five minutes late, you fill in an overtime slip. They had always, you know, all this stuff you have to remember. It's right. terrible. I'm old. I can't remember everything. <laughs> but, uh, so, I, um, yeah, you show up and you wait. And then if they don't need you for, like, say, nobody called in sick or anything, then they send you home for an hour. Or Why don't you want to go out of town with your family for the day? No, you weren't allowed to do that. Do that on your seventh day. Um, just, yeah, we were one day a week right. that you had off for sure. So, so how long were you driving that bus, Laura? I um, I trained for two months. Our class was quite large. Oh. And then I worked for four months before they let me go. Oh. Yes. And so everybody, this is on the record now, quit asking me. <laughs> I don't drive the bus anymore. <laughs> God. I can't believe so many people still consider me a bus driver for facts. I don't drive the bus anymore. You know what I miss? Driving around and looking at the buses. The same I as get you. that a lot. The same yeah. as you. Yeah. Everybody has a bus sighting. Or, yeah, and, and I always make a writer of the day. If I saw somebody I knew, I'd try to snap a picture with them real quick because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm working. I had to sure. keep on time. And it was very stressful. You have to keep on time. The, the bus would break down. Do the buses in Fresno stay on time? Some do. Some have some good. routes are built some better. Some routes better. have good allowances for time and picking up wheelchairs and putting on bikes and and just a lot of more. And some routes not so much. Like the 30, I drive up Blackstone. Oh my gosh, just like a million people and uh, you know, there's so much drama. Yeah. Just getting on time. I would keep it on time. I like the 30 because right. I deal with I, people I, well. I, but I bet you ran a tight ship though. I think yeah, you let people, people get too out of hand on people the People love me. They they like we never seen a driver like you. You're rad and all and, you know and all this and I'm like I'm just doing my job, you know. I'm trying to keep my nose clean and I guess I had this one day I had to call in sick and that's probably. Do you think that was your demise? I think it was. I think you it was. a lot of people saying it was the blog. Yeah, so I was very honest. Saying, do you think that there there was any chance that any of your superiors there would have been reading the bus blog? I'm sure. Yeah, it probably was because I know some of my I made friends there. Is that there. taboo in the in the in the county or I city worker? I don't know that it's taboo. I mean, I'm allowed to to my, voice my own opinion. Sure. But it started getting so big and very um, 
famous, you know, just like, okay, I understand you guys want me to write them. What do you mean they're not going to be a blog tonight? Don't you have a day off? You know, I'm like, but I need to take a day right. off. I need right. a nap. You, uh, I heard, what? I heard uh, Charlize Theron's going to play you in the movie. Oh, that'd be funny, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's like Mad Max all over again, right? <laughs> so, so people can buy the bu bus blogs, right? Yeah, and I put them all in one place. Um, our friend Devo uh -huh. went and she saved all the bus blogs and pictures and whatnot and, and um, put them on disc for me. I went and edited it. It's not a very good edit because I couldn't get um, my computer stupid. Anyways, I, <laughs> I got it in there finally, figured out how to upload it, and it's on Kindle. Uh, Amazon Kindle, you search my name, Laura right. Splotch, or Captain Splotch blog, and it'll pop up. And you can buy it, it's four ninety nine for the download, and you just read it on your Kindle, and you can have the bus blogs in your... Is it selling? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Good for you. I, I sold, like, I guess, 13 or 14 books. Good for you. Like, Come on, right thank on. you, guys. Yeah. You know, I'm a published author now. They're probably going to buy it in the county, and they'll slide it into the handbook. Oh, maybe, <laughs> huh? In the city, right? That'd be funny. <laughs> what not to do. But yeah, what not to do. Yeah, because I know my, my one friend was telling me, yeah, you maybe shouldn't put that in there. Here, but here's oh, the well. thing. <laughs> You're a great person. You're, you're a great Fresno. And I was really happy that you had this, this job at the I back. Liked it, and yeah. I think they're dumb for letting you go. Thank you. I okay. appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, before we go, you do have a show coming up, with the, uh, the Big Top Freak Show. I something. do. It's <laughs> under the Big Top 3. Um, we're having it at Full Circle on April 9th, which is my birthday. Nice. So it's going to be a birthday show with um, um, Taurus. No, and Aries. Okay. Aries women rock, don't you forget it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's going to have um, uh, a couple of bands, uh, Space Hookers playing, nice. and um, a band called Claymation Horror Show from San Francisco, and Banjo Six, um, it, which is the, um, um, Dave from Circus Bogus. Nice. He plays the banjo, and he takes requests, and he's going to be doing some fill-in stuff. But we're also featuring the Naughty Angels uh -oh. with Gail Force uh -oh. and oh, Jess and Michelle. Sarah Rochelle, um, Bane, she's going to come in as Bane the Torture Queen. We're having a bunch of circus sideshow things. We're having a few um, girls, uh, Heather's doing a sword dance. We're having uh, some of the fire girls, Lindy and uh, the ones that got in trouble for at the Mardi Gras party. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? I never got the full story on that. What did you do? I forgot you to ask. out the Mardi Gras parade? I, did. I, I can't have my own crew anymore. She let me in, but she said, you can't have your own crew. Because she did? Why? Because I forgot to ask about the fire spitters and outside. Outside. But there was, she didn't have the right insurance for it, and I got in trouble. So I said, well, next time I'll just bring my own insurance. You know, I didn't know. I didn't even think to ask. I thought it was outside, and the girls know what they're doing. It's all good. But it was so last minute and rushed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got busted. Crazy. But, well, yeah. All right. You know what that, man. That's why but I love April 9th, full circle <laughs> brewery. Come down, have fun. It's $10 to get in. It starts at 8 o'clock promptly. Um, and it's going to be lots of fun. Aerial acts. Uh, uh, Adrian, Mr. Antics, and Gail Force are doing a special aerial performance on the rocket ship. So.